we're um, actually going to do an unboxing. I've got a snares wagon. I got it from Dadvid, who you may remember from the channel, uh, for Christmas. Thank you, man. I wasn't expecting it at all. Bloody Warhammer for Christmas. It felt like Christmas. Um, I don't have any tools. Uh, do I have tools? Yes, I've got tools. I've got um, my trusty yellow uh, snippers that I've had since 2004-ish, I want to say. Kind of, maybe 2005, Christmas 2005. I have chewed off the edges because they were rubbery and they felt nice to chew. But I, should we take a look at the box? I feel like that's what we do in unboxings. Yeah, there's the unbox. I, I don't know if I feel the vibe of... It's not going to work at all with the light. There we go. Really. I don't know if I feel... No, that's not even... That's not better. See the... Kind of medium-sized thing, and then the background... See see the minimalism of the covers. I don't, I don't know if I feel them. I, I can't remember what the actual Games Workshop packaging is that I like... But there's definitely an era that I'm well into, and I'll probably go have a look at it after these and then get back to you. It was probably around 2004, 2005-ish, you know, when I got into it. You're always going to be nostalgic for when you got into something. Fine. Look at this. It's an orc thing, because the new orc codex hit, and there's new orc things. And if you don't know, I'm a massive orc man, because orcs are the best race. Um, They're best at racing with their snaz wagons, for sure. Yeah, I am quite excited about this. It does kind of mean that I'll have to buy the Codex, which is something I don't really want to do because I don't want to go spend, like, £30 on a book for rules. I mean, uh, I probably will have to if I want to play Orcs, but if I know what, like, or is an Orc still six points, chat? I'm going to open up the chat. Bear away, me. Live chat. There we go. Is is the orc still six points? Because if the orc is still six points or thereabouts, then we'll be fine. I usually run um well in eighth edition. I've been running uh, horde orcs. I've been out of eighth edition for oh I don't really want to think how long now, but I've not been playing for a while. But when I was, I, I tested out doing stompers and I tested out the stomp in eight and. I was sorely, sorely um, let down by the Stomp N8. It's good. It's definitely good, and I had fun with it. But it's it's not it's not what it was. So that's probably to say they balanced it out. But um, and Stomp N7 was great because you, with the rules, you could make it so that it regained basically 14... Um, it had like 14 chances or whatever, or thereabouts. I can't remember what the exact number was, but you could you could plug it full of mechs, and the mechs could heal its wounds basically every turn. And it was so tough and so durable that people had a very hard time cracking it. And when they did crack it, you could just pump out more wounds back into it. And they kind of nerfed that with uh, eighth because I think you can only have one mech inside it, or or it can only be healed one time. If I'm wrong, correct me on that, because I'm, I'm not up on the rules. I'm not a rules man. Uh, I'm there for the, the vibe, mostly. I was going to say lore, but I'm not there for the lore. I'm there for, like, the time. You know, the good times. I'm going to be drinking in this video. This is a casual, live unboxing. Lord, that's good water. But yes, should we look at the box? The front cover, I think, is not great. Maybe you'll be able to see the yeah, look at that. Look at that snazzy wagon. I have to say, the New York stuff looks lovely. Just absolutely lovely. I mean, a wee bit of a like, quandary about it, because I don't need more trucks, really. Like, it's fantastic to have the snazz wagon, but I also I already have, like, six to seven trucks. Because before I ran Horde, I ran Speed Freaks in, like, seventh? Well, since 2008, I ran Speed Freaks, or 2009, 10-ish. I did, I did a bit of Horde to start with with the Orcs when I got into Orcs originally, and then I did Speed Freaks because in the previous editions, before 8th, it was more sensible to put all of your Orcs into one basket. It was more sensible to put all of your Orcs into trucks and let those trucks careen across the field because, yes, you're going to only have 12 Orc boys in the trucks, and by the time they get there, they'll be even dwindled there. But if you, before 8th, if you ran Horde, you're just going to take forever to get across, and then you'll have the same amount of boys hitting their lines, but it'll be like so many turns, and I'm, I'm leaking from my face because it's bloody cold. But 
but um, I the, the, the speed freaks were the way to go because you could basically be on them in turn one, turn two, depending on what happened, like layouts and setups and luck and whatnot. But um, yeah, eighth then hit, and I um, I switched to horde quite um, quite fast because they changed the famous thing about eighth. They changed how um, they, they got rid of templates, so. The biggest kind of hurdle to me in the orcs was templates because people would just like exploit it with flamers because they would they would get you to come at them and they would like pack you in and they would you they'd, they'd take the hit and then they'd hit you with flamers basically they'd, they'd get you hurdled like between your, your their own truck and their guys or their tanks and like they know they knew how to work it with the orcs with the bloody flamers but then eighth happened and flamers don't exist anymore they're like d6 damage or like yeah d6 damage which is nothing like absolutely nothing because you just rock up with 30 30 boys in a squad and you're like okay i, I made um i had fidget spinner fidget spinner packaging and I, I cut that up and made it into movement trays for like 30 templates of uh, orcs at a time and that's that's kind of i guess what i'm still currently running i say currently because i've not had a look at the new orc codex and you'd be like craig you, you say you're a big orc man but you've not had a look at the big orcs codex I just, I just, you know, it, nothing super exciting really came because I, I kind of keep up with it on Instagram and like, um, like I gauge it by that. Like there wasn't, like there wasn't prime orcs, was there? There wasn't, there wasn't a, like a new robot. There wasn't stuff that really got me excited because I like the Mad Max vibe, and they really, really went for the Mad Max vibe. Look, look at wee Mad Max grot there on the front. Like they absolutely a thousand percent went for it, and. I have to commend Games Workshop because, as evil and tyrannical as they are, they're a lot better at being evil nowadays. Back in my day, back in Op Four onwards, they were just just horrendous. They were like horrendous, like the evil as they currently are. But they were also horrendous at being evil. Like they they just made such dumb, dumb, dumb business decisions. I know they're currently as evil, but you know they're making great decisions. They're just out there being like boom, boom. Boom, and we're like, all right, all right, Games Workshop, you can just take the dollar. Just take it. Should we look at the rest of the packaging? I love me some packaging, but I don't think I don't think our current video setup supports look at shiny packaging. The back is lovely. Like, look at that. Much better than the front. Like the front is not as appetizing as the back. And then the sides and the rind and yeah. But I tell us what you think of snares wagons. Like the name, the name Snazwagon is just utterly fantastic. The orcs are the best. They have the best stuff, the best names for things. Like, should we rattle it around? Does, does that help? Does that help you in any way? Is that something you want to see from an unboxing? It's what I want to see. You see when I'm sitting watching Thu unbox? I want to hear them. I want to see your big Thu rattle things. All right. Is there a tie in here now? Oh, I, I have to say. I've not bought um, anything new from Games Workshop in years and years and years and years um, because it's a fabulous amount of money that I really don't want to spend. But oh my gosh, there's like a tree. Look at this. I'm sure this is like old news for everyone that cares, but oh my God, there's a bloody tree. Oh my God. Oh. Oh. Wow. That's amazing. Back in my day, there was no such thing as a tree. A tree! Asking for a tree for Games Workshop. You, you can do so much with this. You can keep this. <laughs> I'm actually genuinely excited about the bloody tree. All right, how many sprues have we got? Is it one sprue? It's it's one sprue, which I'm a wee bit surprised about. I, I assumed it would be at least two. I didn't think it would be big, but, you know, I just assumed two sprues for some reason. That's the sprue. Look at that. We should probably use this as the thumbnail. Should I hold, like, do the YouTuber thing and hold it still? Yeah, I've got very shaky hands, so this might not... This might not pan out the way we want it to pan out, guys, but whoa! Look at this sprue! It's going to be hard, because I'm usually looking at myself on the screen to tell you what's going on, and, you know, keep the video entertaining, or at the very least give it the facade of entertainingness. Yeah, this is, like, chunky, chunky orc boy stuff. Like, look at that. Like, the prowl... Is that what it's called? Or is that just for boats? The wheels? Uh, everything everything looks in order here. Like it, it, it looks like an orc sprue, to be honest. I think the... Um, 
I think they should probably redo. They should. I don't know. I really like the orc sprue, like the main orc body, the normal trooper, the orc boy. Um, but it is very old now, so they should probably. I don't know. I know they've recut it, or at least recut it in a way to add extra bits to it. But maybe more extra bit. I don't. I don't know. It's hard to tell really what I want from it because I really like the the squat orc design, and they're they are quite wee. Maybe they need like a, a Primaris orc equivalent, which I know is knobs, I suppose, but like make knobs the basic guys because you know the forever the scale war is happening, like true scale has happened now. Mm. Eat a lot of water for an unboxing. <sighs> I wasn't ready for the bloody tray. That's great. That's great. I'll put this over here. You can sit there. Ooh, it's my first one of these, which probably tells you how much out of the game I am. <laughs> yeah, like, I haven't properly bought Games Workshop stuff in, like, a decade, you know? I'm sure you've got, like, is this, like, the Titan, is this the Night um, scale one, or is this weirder than that? Look at that, that is, that is like, an oblong, is it, like, um, egg shape? I can't think of the word, it's late at night. It's nine, it's nine. Uh, oh, 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 my lord. Look at that. It's the rules. I, I knew they were doing this, but I totally forgot I'd get the rules. That's great. Like I say, perfect example of them being better at being evil. Because before, it'd be like, oh, no, if you want to use this, go get the codex. It's like, but now they're giving you the rules, so you'll know what to do with it. So, you know, you might enjoy using it and buy more things it's it's nefarious and like they've got their kind of um stuff together the the uh, instructions have improved since my day uh, that all seems that all seems doable likes yeah definitely all seems doable so we, oh wow there's, there's loads of variants um boom daka snaz wagon boom daka snaz wagon boom daka snaz wagon oh it's just in different languages uh yeah Deutsch, English, right? Boom, Dark Snazwagon. It's, it's. I guess this is, this is relevant. Yeah. Boom, Dark Snazwagon. Boom, Dark Snazwagon. Boom, Dark Snazwagon. It's, uh, it's, it's five power points. I guess that's how they get you. They're telling how the power points, not the points. The points. I like to play by points, but I guess. Pardon me. I have had um, some PowerPoint games in it, but it was fine. It was fun. It was good. I'm not there to like power games, so who cares? That water is working. That water is working, me. It is working me. Bye. Boom, like a snaz wagon. I'm just going to keep saying that. Movement 12, which is, you know, that's. It, can it do that thing where it continues to move? I, I wasn't very clear on the movement rules in 8th for uh, vehicles because uh, I stopped using them pretty much immediately. This unit contains one boom, like a snaz wagon. It can include, include one additional boom, like a snaz wagon, so you can have two. Uh, or two additional, you can have three. Okay. Each model equipped with a mech special and a big shooter. Each model's crew is armed with burner, burner bottles and grot blaster. Burner bottles are new to me. That's cool. Uh, big shooter, yeah. Range 36, assault 3, strength 5, 0 AP, 1 damage. That's a big shooter. Grot blaster, grot blaster, grot blaster. What's a mech special? Mech special is range 24, which is pretty good because you're moving and then you're going to be shooting that. Uh, assault 9. Assault 9, oh, that is, that is some 8th edition stuff right there. Assault 9, that is, oh, that is special. A mech special. Strength 5, I think, so it's like a big show. Uh, AP is 2 to the armour, so you're, you're just cracking open space screens. I don't know how I feel about that, really. I don't know how I feel about 8th, and it's kind of, it's it, it doesn't really put any emphasis on the armour, I want to say, in my kind of dealings with it because you can just crack open space marines and like shouldn't space shouldn't space marines be tougher like how can orc terrible like it's a mech special but how is it cracking open marine armor like that because you're making them like one of five you're giving them guard armor it's, it's just i don't know but then like all of my fears about eighth um kind of were allayed while playing it because i had so much fun playing eighth and uh, it kind of all the kind of wee kind of niggles seem to balance out during the kind of flow of the game, so I didn't really seem to go super one way or the other. It was kind of exactly what I wanted because like I don't like those games where it's like you you either super win or you super lose. I want like a long drawn out like war of attrition. 
But I mean, what else can it do? What else can it do? I should probably look at the English rules. Um, burner bottles are range six, so they're grenade grenade two d six. Okay, strength four, uh, one damage. Units do not receive the benefit of cover for their saving throws for attacks made with this weapon, so it's it's flammable. That's cool. Here we go. Mob rule. Daka daka daka, which uh, is a new rule to me because I've not read the new codex. Does it tell you that on it? New. No. Grot gunner. Add one hit. Add one to hit rolls for attacks made with this model's big shooter and grot blaster. Interesting. So it's a grot gunner. So it's even better. It's, it's good. It's good the orcs have good things. Billowing fumes. Subtract one from hit rolls for attacks made with the range weapons that target this model. So we've got the old kind of a variation on the old um, orc knob bikers with their uh, cutting about and their smoke. Uh, riding shotgun. Oh my god, orcs are the best. Uh, when this model shoots, it can throw a grenade and shoot with its pistol in addition to any other weapons. Orcs. This you building your mad wagon thing. No, I'm just doing an unboxing, John. Uh, I'm just, uh, I kind of got, I went mad. You know how I've not, like, um, touched Warhammer, really, like, proper Warhammer stuff. You know how they've got wee trays in the boxes? Like, I pulled out and I was like, woo, a tray! Didn't know they did trays. I'll probably do a video. Like, I'd, I'd have to do, like, work the setup so you could see what I was doing. Because, like, if I did a video of me, like, building, like, the actual thing, it would be me doing one like this. I'd just be sitting like this and you'd just see my face going. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay, so I cut here. Okay, so what do I need? I need, I need that. But it would just be that for, like, hours and hours and hours. And I know it's only one sprue. Oh, you're selling your orcs. Oh, well, you've got your platform here, John. You've got uh, yourself. Uh, I don't know if yourself wants to buy them, but um, yeah, wait till other people join in and try and hawk your orcs. Do I want to buy your orcs? I kind of want orcs. Are orcs good? You know more about 40k than me now. How was that codex? Did it go down well? You know, I know you're out of the 40k a wee bit, but I imagine you've got your hands in further than I have. Look at this. Look at that. It's good. It's chunky. Dad would have got me this for Christmas. So you were there, you saw. <clears throat> Where did I put the thing? Yeah, it is. I was reading off the rules. I heard good things. Well, like, they've got amazing rules like riding shotgun and uh, burner bottles now, so it's pretty cool. Orc, clan, vehicle, speed freaks, boom, daka, snaz wagons. Yep, it, it seems like a truck. Oh, I should probably read its actual stats. Uh, movement 12. Weapon skill 4+, plus, ballistic skill 5+, plus. strength 5, toughness 6, wounds 8, uh, attack 4, leadership 6, save 4 up. That seems like numbers, you know? It's, I feel like I find it hard to... An actual snares wagon. Yes, an actual snares wagon, Ewan. Look at that. It's just an unboxing. I, I've just been wooing at the box for like 20 minutes now. I, uh, I find it hard to read stats um, or to, like, kind of gain, to understand what they mean from just looking at them. I, I usually have to, like, play the game and then, like, see how they do and then gauge it that way. Like, I'd put the, the units down and be like, ah, oh, they, they lasted, like, a turn or two, you know, to, to whatever the other army was putting out. But I, that was me unboxing a snares wagon. That, this has happened now. I mainly wanted to do it so that I, I could get it out of my workshop and maybe actually build it and maybe buy the codex. I don't know. Should I buy the codex, chat? What's your feelings on that? Do you have strong feelings on buying the codex? I don't want to buy the codex. Eight wounds. It'll get destroyed by hell blasters. Hell blaster. What is a hell blaster? Hell blaster? Hell blaster. I know that name. What's a hell? Ewan, what's a hell blaster? Makes me think of fantasy Hellblaster. Hellblaster sounds like a dwarf cannon or like a that chaos thing that Ebiot likes. Denny spend money. I know. Denny spend money is the channel's watchwords. I, I could I'll go have a rake. I'll go have a look in the games workshop and be like, hello, sir. I would like to purchase a a codex. Oh, it, it's £25. Well, I'll, I'll leave it off until Christmas. Pr oh, Primaris Plasma Dudes. Yeah, they'll kill anything, though, won't they? They're like range, whatever. Plasma death. Things will die. Like things will die in 40k. It's, it's mostly fine. Um, 
I say that because I'm an orc man that just rocks up with like 150 orcs and then they just tend to die, but also kill the things that are killing them. It's a healthy outlook. It's a healthy outlook. Yeah, it's it's got toughness though. So like plasma, plasmas are strength eight, aren't they? When they um they do their thing. Now they strength seven normally now, and then strength eight when they supercharge. It's it's been so long. And then I, like I say, I didn't use marines. Uh, yeah, it's it's eight wounds, toughness six. So yeah, yeah, plasmas would just eat that up, wouldn't they? Uh, Save four up though, and it's got that billowing cloud rule where it like um, subtract uh, one from hit rolls for attacks made with range weapons that target this dude. So like marines are hitting on fours and whatnot. That's probably not great. What I learned in 8th edition, in my semi-brief time playing it, is that if your enemy really wants one of your things to die in any given turn, like say if you had a Stomper, for example, if your enemy really, 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 really wants that Stomper to die in any given turn, they can just make that happen. Because usually they'll have their big... I hesitate to say Death Star, because apparently Death Stars can't exist anymore. But they'll have their big boy unit, and usually it'll drop in. It'll be like a drop unit of big boys. And then they'll just play all those wee cards, and then all the wee cards will make your thing die. Um, the Chaos Boys kind of were bad for that, because they were dropping with Terminators or uh, Obliterators, even worse. They are dropping with their Obliterators, and then their Obliterators would have to go against Stompa. And I'd be like, it's fine, because I know the math, and I know they can only like do half, or a little bit more than half of the wounds, and then Chaos just have that card, or at least in my day, they had that card that you could just play, and then they would get to shoot again with all their things, so they would have a little bit more than half of the wounds again onto the Stomper, and it would just die. And that seemed to be the case for basically everybody. Like, they would have their big play, you know, they would have their, like, I put my unit here, and it does its thing, and then your thing just dies. So... I the hell blasters would probably kill the wee truck boy, but it is only like five points or five power points. I don't, I can't remember what the power points equate to, so I don't really know if that's like equivalent to like a marine squad or like, you know, it's like a wee flimsy truck. It's it's fine. It's mostly fine. I'm quite cold in here. I should have put my, I should have put my cloak on or something. Like my my wee puffer jacket's like over there, like pointing at me and laughing. And I'm drinking cold water. I'm no, I'm no planned out this, uh, this whole streaming malarkey. Oh, but I, I got my first one of these. Like I've never had one of these bases before. Is this exciting? Is this, is this what unboxers like? I think it's pretty cool. Um, forty k people in the chat. Is is this the size of the um, the night? Uh, stand. Is this the... I don't have a scale thing, but like, <laughs> is this what knights stand on, or the knights stand on slightly bigger ones? I uh, handled one of them before, but I can't actually remember. But it would be interesting. It would be good to know. If this was a video, I'd probably end it now, but it's also a stream, so we can just keep... Uh... The knight one is rounder. Really? I thought it was... I thought it was like that. I thought it was like squished, a squished circle. Rounder, eh? Shall I show off my knights? No, no. I've still not painted these guys. Like, um, these guys are going to get inked at some point. I've still not finished all the bandages and whatnot on him, and then I'll have to do, like, wee dings and pus marks and leaky bits. I'll get on that. I'm trying to get back on the bandwagon, really. Like, trying to get back on the, the 40k doing things, Malark. Oof. Love him. Only expense is of... Armagers, yes. I I want those armagers, but again, don't want to spend money. I, I had a crack at making an armager, but I, I didn't use any reference and I kind of just went a wee bit mad and I got I got this. And like I know we can you can get a lot you can get away with a lot with Nurgle, but he's too big. He's too big, you know. I'll I'll make him into something. I'll I'll have another crack at the armager girls. Thanks, man. You and saying my nights look good. I'll do another video. I'll do another video on the nights. You two, you 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 people wait, because I'll be back. We'll we'll make this into another video. We'll we'll start again.
we'll split it up because th this is the snares wagon video and it'll it'll help me if it doesn't go on forever but i stay tuned stay frosty whatever that means whatever that 